Hey traders, John Howe speaking here with your weekly recap on the Australian market and also the US market. Uh, right now we're looking at the Dow Jones daily chart. Uh, this is the Dow Jones industrial average and we'll also be looking at the XJO on the Australian stock market. So what we're looking at right now, we're looking at a daily chart right now and what I want to do is I want to give you a bit more of a, a different perspective than looking at a daily chart. Uh, what I think most technical analysts, or where I think most technical analysts go wrong, is when they're trading, uh, especially when they're trading like a system where they get in and they hold for a couple of days at least, like a short term cash flow system. Where I see a lot of uh, traders go wrong is they don't use weekly charts. And I can guarantee that if they, have a, if they have a daily system where they're using the daily charts for entries, then I can guarantee that a, a weekly chart can give you a, a, a definitely a really good perspective and sometimes even keep you out of some bad trades. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this over right now to a weekly chart. Okay, so right now we're looking at a weekly Dow Jones Industrial Average chart. And we can see it's been nicely stair stepping down for many, 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 um, uh, many months now, back since, since back since of um, August, September of um, 07. So you 07, now 08, and now into 09 as I speak. And uh, you can see one thing One thing we're looking at right now is if I get my parallel trend line and bring that down, you can clearly see something here. If I open this chart up a bit, and let's bring it up a bit closer, we can clearly see something here. Had a good support here, had a good support here, had a good support here, and then it broke back down and came back up. Now, there's actually, a, there's actually a few things that's interesting about what's going on right here right now. Is there's, there's, there's two ways you could actually read this. One, if you look very closely here, the wicks are actually pointing, or the or majority of the wicks have actually closed above that support resistance line. Um, again, depends on where you have it. Um, or two, you could find that that's, that's having problems and resisting there. Now, I would say that by looking at this chart, it's actually resisting at this level here. So we have support, support, support. It's run up. It's actually struggling here. You can see it's actually popped its head up, but it's just now going sideways. There's no real pressure to the upside. So if we look at the daily chart, let's flick over to the daily chart here. And if I squeeze my daily chart up now, this is the daily, the daily chart of the Dow Jones. You can clearly see that it's just been going sideways for me for the last couple of weeks overall. Uh, now, does the sideways activity uh, mean it's ready to explode the upside? Well, if I just delete these trend lines here, and if I squeeze this in a bit, you can clearly see that the uh, my proprietary moving average we use in the trading room, you can see it's resistance here, resistance here, dropped back down, came back up, resistance here, popped back above it, came back down, and now it's slightly coming back above it, and now what we're looking at on the Dow Jones, if I open my chart up a bit more, you can clearly see right now that it broke above it here, and now it stayed above it, stayed above it, and now it's actually testing out as a bit of support. So that's actually quite interesting. So right now, we're at a bit of a pinnacle point where the market looks like it wants to start running up. But right now, if we look at the bigger picture, the weekly chart says it's out of big, strong resistance. Now, this is a pinnacle point, And why I say it's a pinnacle point is because if we start to run to the upside, or like start breaking out of here, then we're likely to have another couple of weeks at least a, I would say another couple of weeks to the upside, and our target, and the target would be say to, to the to the nine thousand mark. That's where I believe it'll go to. Now, no one knows, and that's why it's very that's why it's very important to use your own homework in in in, in conjunction of what I'm saying here to make sure that you uh, are doing the right thing for you. Though what we're looking at right now is we're looking at the market breaking above it, and if it does, it looks like it's going to probably have a nice big run to the high side. Does that mean we turn into a bull market? Well, technically, no. Technically, even if we squeeze this chart up here, you can see that we're clearly in a big downward movement. And I would say, and my traders know in this room, if I just squeeze my chart up here, you can clearly see this uh, blue moving average I've got here. It's definitely um, sort of keeps it above it, keeps it above it. When it breaks down, keeps resistance, and then it knocks it back down. So um, this is still clearly, clearly in a bear market. And uh, that's the way I think it's going to stay for, for quite some time. Um, but we never know what's going to happen in the future. That's why we take it um, as the trades come along and as the situations come along as well. So 
as I, uh, what I say for the people that are technical analysts out there, that we are still in a bear market and we have to trade it as a bear market still until the market turns. Don't try and pick bottoms. Don't try and pick tops. So many people that I've taught in my in, in my time want, want to try and get in, want to go try to go short here, or want to try and go long here. But what what ends up happening is this. I just deleted this. Just delete this. What ends up happening is that they'll, they'll go along here, goes back up, they get hammered. They'll go along here, goes back up, they'll go along here, they'll go along here, they'll go along here, and all the way down. They go along, go along, go along, where there's no high probability there. What I what I would wait for is if I'm looking to go short. I'm looking. I'm not. I'm not looking to go short up here. I'm looking for the market to break down, then break back up, and then as the market starts to break back down, go short around about here somewhere, because there's a more high probability there than trying to pick the tops and bottoms. And then as the market falls, go short, go short, and uh, and so on and so forth. So right now, as a technical analyst, we are at a very pin pinnacle point on the Dow Jones Industrial Average, and. Uh, the the market right now is at a very very tight uh, support and resistance line. You can see right here, which we spoke about just, just a while ago. So that's a good view, a good overview on the Dow Jones. We are definitely in a bear market, but we had a strong resistance point. We break up, we're likely to run up to the nine thousand mark. Uh, if it breaks down, we're probably like to see at least a double bottom in this movement. So um, we'll see what happens there. Let's have, let's have a quick look at the the uh, uh, XJO. This is the XJO weekly chart, and if we just squeeze our XJO weekly chart up a bit here, there's a few things we can see what happen what's happening here. Is uh there there might be some sort of formation forming here, and if you can see here, this is you can see this bit here, see this bit here. This looks like it could be forming if we get a little bit of a dip down here. This could be forming a head and shoulder formation. Now heads and shoulders, you can see here, shoulder, head, and shoulder. They they perform really really well. If I scroll if I scroll back a bit here, scroll back a bit, um, and if I keep scrolling back, keep scrolling back, and you clearly see that on a bigger picture scale, shoulder head shoulder. Once it started breaking to the high side, that was a significant bottom. Uh, as the market started to uh, as the market started to crawl up, no head and shoulder, no head and shoulder yet, no head and shoulder. A potential head and shoulder here, and this is what we do in the trading room. Potential head and shoulder here, uh, but no break or no, no breakdown, and so there was no no there was no um, confidence in the direction. Actually, the buyers, as you can see, the buyers kept it up in this, down, this uptrend, so not a very high probability short there. Uh, you can see the market kept stepping up, kept step, 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 stepping up, kept step, stepping up, and as the market kept step, stepping up, you can see clearly now it started the start of the breakdown through here, and as it started the breakdown through here. The the market you can clearly see the market started the breakdown and that was the confirmation of the market now looking for more downside. Market looks for more, more downside. As the market goes down to the downside, we now look for if it gets a possible head and shoulder, that could be the turning point maybe for more upside. Okay, so that's what we're looking at right now. But if I just delete all my indicators, we can clearly see something here. Let me bring up to a daily chart again. And we can clearly see that this market here is definitely going sideways. You can see support here, support here, resistance here, resistance here. And it's definitely going sideways. So we might just end up going sideways for a while. Um, you can see it's actually definitely struggling like the Dow Jones is for the last couple of weeks. This is a daily chart here. The last couple of weeks, you can see that it's definitely struggling through here. Uh, so for me, I would say more downside to come. Um, and and if it's going to probably get down here somewhere before we're likely to trace back up again. So, thanks for listening. This is the weekly recap. Make sure you come down and check us out in the trading room because uh, this is what we do every day to teach our traders how to look at the market. Thanks, traders, and good luck.